NFL Today on CBS is powered by Ram Trucks, built to serve. And welcome back to the NFL today. Right now, the Texans and the Vikings are getting set for their matchup. And as we approach kickoff, let's send you out live to Minneapolis with our announcers, Iron Eagle, Charles Davis, and Evan Washburn. Jamie, welcome to U.S. Bank Stadium. Skull Nation is ready for a battle of two 2-0 teams, the Texans and Vikings. In year three, as head coach Kevin O'Connell has the squad playing an exciting brand of football, and he's doing it with Sam Darnold at quarterback. Now in his seventh season, it's been a career revival for the number three overall pick back in 2018. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the broadcast booth. Hi, Eagle, along with Charles Davis. Evan Washburn will join us down on the sidelines this one should be highly entertaining sam darnold it feels like he's right at home in minnesota how has it worked why has it been so successful so far because it's been a pairing of a team that actually wanted him and him being in a place that he knew would work for him this team evaluated sam darnold knew the success wasn't there but they knew the talent was there the elite arm, the athleticism, a guy who's been through some adversity and bounced back, and a guy who can throw the deep ball, and they got a guy who can go out and get the deep ball with Justin Jefferson, and we saw that last week against San Francisco, a renaissance and you're only going for Sam Darnold, it's working well. He's playing for his fourth team, he's been comfortable, confidence, question marks early in the week regarding his number one target, Jefferson, he is in there today, we get more right now from Evan. Yeah, I'm a side relief for Sam Darnold because a week ago on this field, Justin Jefferson had to be helped off by athletic trainers. Early in the fourth quarter, suffered a right quad injury when he collided with Fred Warner was walking down the field. Jefferson told us it was the worst gun in the locker room during that game when he got taken off. It was the difference. The movement by the athletic trainers said, get the swelling up. Obviously, licensed them throughout the week. He will have a little added protection to protect that right quad area, but he told us no limitations on his game for this week. All right, Evan, Texans are picking up right where they left off last season. One of the biggest surprises in the NFL last year. Not so much a surprise this year. Big test today for one C.J. Stroud. No longer can you say one of the top young stars. It's just one of the stars of the NFL. You're digging into the strategy behind Stroud against this Minnesota. Defense. So look, Queens Gambit here, right? C.J. Stroud, quarterback, Brian Moore, defensive coordinator. We know C.J. Stroud can create out of the pocket, but he wants to win from in the pocket with his mind and the subtleties and nuances of playing quarterback. He'll maneuver the secondary with a wolf and find an open spot to deliver to Nico Collins. On the other side, Brian Flores, he wants to use his mind to affect the quarterback. Hey, we're showing a lot of pressure. Now we escape. Does he throw it? Throws it open? Where do you go? If you make him hesitate, Brian Flores says that's a win for his team. That's what they're going to try and do to C.J. Stroud today. Texans are without Joe Mixon today. Ankle injury last week. Damian Pierce also inactive. Hamstring trouble. Cam Akers, former Ram and Viking, gets the nod. He's not the only player going against his former team. Daniil Hunter is back in Minneapolis. Four Pro Bowls for the Vikings. Now a Texan on the other side. Jonathan Bernard, Blake Cashman. Standouts for the Texans. Now they're doing their thing for Minnesota. Countdown to kickoff continues from the City of Lakes. Nine teams are undefeated in the NFL. Two of them are going head-to-head today right here on CBS. 